بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so again the next thing we'll see the editing editing of the acls now we have already discussed the issues with the numbered acl editing like we cannot remove any specific lines if i try to remove one single line it will automatically remove the complete acl and whenever you add any new line basically it is going to add in the last so if you want to add any line in between that is not possible so unless you use a notepad another way as i showed you and this is completely based on the older syntax and this apply for both a standard or extended acls already so already we discussed the issues in the previous so let's see the editing part okay now i decided to use the named acl or if i decided to use the new syntax now how i'm going to do the editing okay so the acl editing feature is uh, defined in the new syntax or in the named acl syntax and that is added that means for each and every statement we can we can modify that so by default it will have some numbers which represents the sequence of the acl so when i say show ip access list if i go and check here so you can see the sequence numbers now this sequence numbers defines the order of the acl verifications and by default the sequence number will be multiples of 10 so the first acl will be 10 and the second will be 20 30 40 like that and the main reason is if you want to add any new line in between i can use the numbers in between 11 to 19 so if i'm using 11 any name sequence number in between this manual sequence so 10 20 30 40 50 is automatic sequence but if i if i'm using a sequence of 23 means it is going to add a statement exactly in between 20 and 30 so that is a main advantage uh, we get here okay so like if you verify this example here this is a example what we have configured and if i say show ip access list you can see this sequence numbers now i decided to now again as i said automatic sequence numbers it will be multiples of 10 okay even if you don't uh, write the sequence numbers they are by default included okay and it will be multiples of 10 so again the same thing apply for the new new syntax like i said you i, I said here if i write ip access list extended i can either use a numbered acl based on the new syntax so if i'm using ip access list means i'm using the new syntax if i'm using normal access list command means i'm using the older syntax So in the older syntax editing is not possible if i'm using the new syntax whether you are using a named or number we have editing option okay so just remember this so automatic sequence numbering i already discussed this so the default sequence number it will add and as i said if you want to add a new lines we can use those sequence numbers here so let's let's see one example here like if i'm writing the statement something like this let's go here so what i'll do is if i go and say show ip access list i do have an acl of ccna which i'll be using here so i want to add a new statement access list standard ccna1 now i want to add new lines and these new lines should come exactly in between uh, numbers so what i can do is so normally what happens is when i'm writing deny host address and if i don't tell the sequence number if i don't define the sequence number so this will automatically go in the last which means if i verify here if i say show ip access list you can see this statement comes in the last but i don't want that in the last i want this statement exactly in between let's say i want this statement in between 20 and 30 anyway i'll remove that statement later so we'll say if you want to remove you can simply say no i want to remove this line right so i can simply say no 60 so no 60 will automatically remove this line which means you don't need to type in the complete command so if you want to verify we can use to ip access list and you can see that 60 statement has been removed so i want to add this line exactly in between 20 and 30 so which means we need to first get into that acl uh, mode 
and then here if you use question mark there will be a sequence number we need to add so i'll be using any any sequence number in between 20 and 30 let's say i'm using 24 and then write down the statement whatever you want to write exactly the same way as we we generally write and if I verify this show IP access list, you can see this statement exactly adds in between 20 and 30. So again, you know the order 24 means it comes in between 20 and 30. Now, similar way we can write down, you can see I have written some couple of examples here. So when I'm adding 23, it will come exactly in between 20 and 30. And if I use a sequence number of 35, it will come in between 30 and 40. So it depends where exactly you want the new statement to be added. You have to use the sequence number. So this is how we can insert the new lines option. As I discussed, we can do editing. Editing means inserting a new lines or removing specific lines. So if you want to delete a specific lines, so already we discussed this, I've shown. So if I want to remove this line 20, let's say, so I have to get into the that particular mode and we need to say no 20 so simply that's it and if you verify show ip access list you can see the acl 20 has been removed okay so the same steps will apply for extend acl also even though i'm not showing the examples here so if you want to verify with the same way uh, i think we do have an extend acl created here let me show you with this as well if I'm using extended CCNP, let's say X, and I want to add a new line, so I'll be using a sequence number of 23. Let's say deny host 10.1.1.1 going to any destination. I think we need to also specify the protocol. Let's say some TCP, something I'm just writing roughly. If you verify show IP access list, you can see it adds exactly in between here. And let's say I want to remove this 10 line. We can say IP access list extended, get into that particular mode. Again, it is case sense to remember this. You can see here, if I'm, if I'm using case sense to small letters, you can see these two become different lines. Even though the name, uh, it shows the same thing, but actually it is a cap letter and this is a small letter. So just be aware of this. When you are writing the ACLs, uh, make sure that we are using the same the generally we use the names in the capitals just to differentiate between the normal command and the names that is the best practice again it is not compulsory but i generally suggest this way and we need to remove the line 10 okay so if you verify now the line 10 has been removed so basically the editing uh, concept is same for both so whatever the concepts i'm discussing this apply for the named ACLs and again if I'm using this with a number also the same concept will apply let's say if I'm using instead of saying I'll say ACL number is 115 uh, let's say the same editing is possible so in simple whether you are using named ACL or numbered ACL with a new syntax or the syntax which is used with a named because initially this syntax was introduced with named ACL which was supported in older iOS versions still it supports now, probably in the new iOS versions, the, this syntax has been added for numbered also. So, which means I can use numbered as well as named in the new versions, uh, and editing is possible in the in this in this new configuration syntax.